slight movement away from what we're saying, and, and that's the importance of protein and breeding. And that, the, the key issue here is that babies need a huge amount more protein, or at least the ratio between protein and energy they need is much higher. And the reason for that is that there are two primary requirements for energy. The first one is the energy just to re repair and renew our bodies. So everybody sitting there, you may not think you're using energy, but your bodies are turning over and metabolizing things and whatever. And so you have to eat, even if you're a sedentary, lazy sod like me, you've still got to eat something just to keep yourself going. And the baby birds are exactly the same. So your little baby African grey or whatever has a requirement of, for energy just to maintain its body temperature and all those sorts of things. But it also has another energy requirement, which is the energy required to grow. Um, and it needs protein to do that growing. And when the baby is very small, one, one of the things that's a mystery to me about, about most animals when they grow is they don't grow by, say, 10% a day or 2% a day. Um, my wife and I used to keep um, cattle, and, and the cattle grow a, a kilogram a day. It doesn't matter whether they're tiny little things that start at 30 kilograms. They go 30, 31, 32, 33. And when they're up to 400 kilos, they're still going 400, 401, 402. They sort of grow at the same amount a day. And our birds are the same. They put on huge amounts over the first few weeks. They're much, much more in percentage terms. So they need a lot more protein, but they also need a lot more energy. And that ratio changes. As they get bigger and bigger, the maintenance requirement gets larger, but the growth requirement doesn't change. So they need more energy to maintain themselves. They need protein for growth, and that amount of protein doesn't change, but they need more and more energy. So you'll find that if you, um, if you offer your, your breeding birds, just as I said earlier, a high protein feed and a low protein feed, the adult birds will b take the right mix of those to suit the chicks that they're feeding at the time. This is the main reason why parent red b reared birds tend to grow faster than hand reared birds because hand-reared birds are fed a protein energy ratio that's only right for one day. It's wrong leading up to that day, and it's wrong in the opposite direction after that day. And, and so I'm not saying you shouldn't hand-rear birds, by the way. I'm just saying that, that parent-reared, given a choice, will do much better. I think I've said that. that would be typical. So just to re-emphasize that, offer them a high-protein, feed, offer them a low protein feed, and let the parents sort it out. You simply don't need to do that. I actually learnt this lesson in really big terms from a Zimbabwean uh, ostrich breeder. And uh, he's probably been massacred by people since then, but um, he, he, used to, he used to weigh all of his young ostriches as they grew uh, once a week. Um, and, and he plotted a lovely graph of how, how fast they were growing. And as their, as their growth rates tailed off, he changed the protein energy ratio of the diet, and they took off and started growing really fast again, and then they'd tail off. And he, he had five different feeds with different protein and energy ratios. So that's where when I say you're hand rearing food with one ratio is, very, is basically not going to be right. Uh, same slide as before, high protein food, lower protein food, let them sort it out.